he told me he was Al Capone's right hand man. And we had sawed off shot guns. I am 104. In October, I'll be 105. When I was in Chicago, I had a Chicago church on the south side. And that's where Al Capone would take his people that were not faithful and dump them up, not far from where my church was. But there came a knock at my door and there was a man said, can I see you? Well, sure, come in. And he was Al Capone's right-hand man. He said that there was a moody student that led him to Christ. And he said, now I'm going around. I wonder sometime if they're going to really get rid of me. But no, they let me wander around. Al Capone said, if you really got religion, you're free to go. And I'm coming in your house and I want to sell roofing. Well, I said, I'll tell you, sir, if you talk to my trustees, you can deal with them. I'm the minister. But that man poured out his heart to me. He told me we go from one place to the other, one beer joint to the other, and sell Al Capone's beer. And of course, when they saw our shot off, Shotguns, they were willing to do it. And that's the kind of a business I was in. I said, okay, God, whoever you are, hop to it and give me a, all this blessing that they talk about. And let me tell you, God sure hopped to it. He took away all kinds of desire and I was a Christian. And Al Capone said that if you would really get religion, you don't have to stay with my outfit. You were free. And then after a while, Al Capone wanted to give me, as a minister, some food, basket of food. We could poor, so help the poor. I said, okay. And I went in a house, a room, and let me tell you, I saw that gang of gangsters. Their faces looked so gaunt. Right there, I, they could have taken me and dumped me somewhere else. Because otherwise, <laughs> we would never have survived. It's a miracle that all happened. And so I could tell you all kinds of stories. <laughs>